Good evening, Brazos Valley. Thank you for joining us for KX News at 10. I'm Epiphany Lachey. Chester Jackson Jr., the man who ended up on life support after a stay at the Burleson County Jail back in 2019, has lost his civil case against a jailer. Robert Balcom was accused of pushing Jackson in his cell. Last week, Balcom was found not guilty. KAGS first released the video in 2019 of what happened in the jail cell. Jackson's attorney, UA Lewis, says despite the judgment, she's not stopping the wheels of justice. Chester Jackson Jr. was first brought to Burleson County Jail after being arrested for public intoxication. Days later, he would be put on life support. His attorney, UA Lewis, says it was at the hands of a former Caldwell police sergeant, Robert Balcom. KX was the first to uncover the video of what happened in the cell. Jackson's hands were shackled behind his back and his legs cuffed. Lewis says Balcom pushed Jackson, causing him to fall back and hit his head against the toilet. Balcom's side says Jackson fell and hit his head. The, the, this officer's defense to picking up Chester and throwing him was the fact that he said he was gonna pick him up and just have a conversation with him and talk to him and say kind of, hey buddy, calm down. And Chester, as he was picking him up to do that, actually grabbed his testicles and squeezed them. And that was his defense to throwing Chester. Currently, a criminal case is still pending against Jackson for the alleged assault of a public servant. The Austin jury decided Balcom's force was not excessive Lewis says she believes the jury is confused about some evidence. Is you have to weigh the force against the need for force to determine whether the force is excessive or not. And in this case, we believe that there was no, there was never a need for force. So therefore, it is on its face excessive force. This uh, this jury in Austin obviously did not understand that, um, but there were some things that caused them to be confused throughout the trial, um, in, in my opinion, and that should have been clarified. And I think that, um, you know, it was the court's role to do that and um, it didn't happen. So that's why we're gonna ask the court to reevaluate the case, uh, potentially leading to a new trial or um, have the Fifth Circuit to reevaluate the case as a whole and, um, and see what's going to happen there with the Fifth Circuit. And if the Fifth Circuit does not give them what they call a proper answer to the case, the Supreme Court will be the next stop. Lewis, as from the beginning, maintains this is not a racist thing. It's a right versus wrong. So that his prognosis is really undetermined right now. Um, you know, he still remains in a state of where he's not verbal and he's still bedridden. So, um, you know, we just don't know what the progress is gonna look like. Um, we just are happy that he doesn't regress. Um, UA Lewis says she is very optimistic and hopeful that they will get justice in the end.